Okay, so this is happening in Mozambique. An Islamist group kills 52 people in a cruel and diabolical massacre. The Islamic State Central Afri Africa Province, ISCAP, or ISCAP for short, which is affiliated with ISIS in the Mudumbe district of Mozambique, killed 52 people who refused to join their group, which is known locally as Al-Shabaab, meaning the youth. Although I should note that they have no known links to the extremist group of the same name operating in Somali. Oh, okay. This, this group has been growing for the past two years in a region that has rich natural resources and has not fairly distributed the earnings from these resources to allow for proper policing and protection of its citizens. But I wanted to give some very, very important asterisks to this news, because if we're reporting about something this serious, we need to make sure that we're being as accurate and honest as possible. So I read many different articles about this, and there are mixed reports about whether or not groups have claimed responsibility. There are also mixed reports about which groups claimed responsibility. However, I did find a report that came out yesterday that said from the Mozambique National Council for Defense and Security that states that, um, which is the state body that advises the president on security matters. And they blamed the attacks on the ISIL affiliated group. Mm -hmm. So according to the security forces as of yesterday, that's what they're saying. Um, there is also conflicting information about the number of people killed. There were reports that say that there were 14 local people that were massacred. The Mozambique government, which rarely offers information about this sort of attack, has now announced this much larger figure. Also, this attack happened on April 7th, but it took over two weeks for word to spread about this massacre. Why? Um, that's not entirely clear to me why details have only emerged now. Well, I read some of the similar things. I went to some African news sites and uh, Asian France Press because that was one of the first Western sites that this information was communicated to. And so you're correct in that um, what I saw on some of the African news sites is that the um, for the first time ever when the government had, you know, claim that this was ISIL. This was the first time they have ever admitted, ever mm -hmm. in public, that there are um, Islamic State militants in the country and that they're escalating these attacks. They have been denying this for two two years now. Mm -hmm. And um, they are, they, you know, have been saying this hasn't been happening, but apparently this resistance um, has been going on for quite a number of years. And at, to your point about the conflicting reports, you know, I saw some local reports which were talking about it, but they spent a lot of time saying how you see we were right. We reported it correctly. So there was a lot of sort of, you know, uh, bragging about how they knew and other people didn't. And they were saying that, you know, there were several raids, one in the morning of April 7th and then again midday on April 8th. And a lot of them were people who weren't willing to join, but um, they were ambushed by the um, insurgents and they killed these people. But then they also, you know, got gunned down some other people, set things on fire, destroyed a gas station, uh, destroyed the local health center, so school. So there's a lot of different things, reports. And... Um, Again, like you were saying, they believe that it's the Daesh and um, Daesh for people who don't know is oh, uh, yeah. it means ISIS. Yeah. And um, but um, the other thing is, too, that these Islamists, you know, they want to declare a caliphate, but the government has just been acting like none, this is not happening. They're not telling anybody about it. They won't acknowledge mm. it. So it's pretty significant that they even would acknowledge it. Right. Um, as to why they didn't say anything, I, maybe it has to do with they don't want people to know. Mozambique is in a country that there's a lot 
of news from Africa about French speaking. So the the Western news was through a you know French language paper first. So I had to read the French to see the original you know hmm. Western the so Asian France press. So that might be part of why you know it took a while for it to get out just just so i know some people when they see news like this they're like oh look isis was never defeated they're still around they're still relevant i mean they're still around they're still relevant but they're nothing compared to what they used to be like let's just be clear just because they still have some operations or they have some franchises like this there in the philippines and some other places i don't know but it doesn't mean that like this is like a fraction of what they used to be like so they they i mean they might come back i'm not saying like people like maybe two years from now people like aha look i mean you say they were defeated and now they're big again and they're taking over they're having a new house i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen in the future but this is nothing compared to what they used to be able to do and also a lot of these militants originally weren't necessarily fighting specifically like for a caliphate or you know yeah. like what Susanna was saying they were talking about unequal distribution of resources um some of this you know conflict goes back even to the 70s hmm. about you know well, how I'm, yeah it goes back to go sorry and and so you know they're just they're they're now they're getting either funding or maybe it's morphed right. into this Islamic state thing, or it's easy yeah. to find recruits amongst disaffected people who haven't had their grievances properly addressed. So th yeah, this is a branding thing for conflicts that already exist mm -hmm. in many places, right? Exactly. So you can, like you have in Philippines, they have conflicts with Muslim between Muslims, some Muslims, some Muslims and the uh, central government and you have in Africa you have a lot of conflicts between some Islamic groups and the government and it's not like you know it's not like I this it's the same ISIS people that were just moved from Syria and Iraq that just moved there and now they're over there I mean there's sometimes they send some teachers or some guys or something like that but the, it's not like the, a complete migration sometimes it's, it's a little bit of that but most I mean the way you have to look at it is like imagine you have um, a local sandwich, like a burger shop, and you've been operating since the 70s, and now you're saying like, oh, McDonald's is doing so good, I might as well just rebrand as a McDonald's, so maybe I could sell more if I do that. And then they send an official from McDonald's just to come and just check if everything, if the branding is right, if you're making bur the burgers consistent Shake with some the hands. house. Yeah. Shake some hands, yeah. Like, yeah, but it's just, a, it's just a franchise. It's just like ISIS is like a franchise thing that they just want to make sure you get the branding right. And if you do that, then you could be an affiliate. But it's, yeah, but like, like Rifka said, it's basically old conflicts rebranded so that they could get the promotion the pr power of uh isis i mean it used to be a lot more valuable before to get the pr power of isis but it's still there seems to be still something to it it's just weird for me that they use al-shabaab um which is like another somali if they're not even well, connected to that let me clarify so that's like the local colloquial word for them because they right. are primarily youth like youthful people and right, okay. the majority of the people who were killed in this massacre and straight up beheaded were mm. young adults. Okay, okay. So I think they might be just literally calling them like the youth. Um, yeah. yeah. And there were reports that they were flying the black standard ISIS flag during these attacks. Yeah, I read that too. Mm -hmm. I like how some <laughs> somebody on the Facebook live chat is saying hello, shout out to my family. <laughs> yes, shout out, shout out to Dio's family in the live chat. <laughs> Mozambique has the most beautiful beaches, by the way. They're gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I, oh yeah, I didn't know. That. I won't. I won't go. I won't. Yeah. Now that they have Al Shabab, I want to check it out. Sorry. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, 
<laughs> bell and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even you know, people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this they're like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that link there's a link in the description uh which is to our newsletter so hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 